What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I thought I would do another good old fashioned favorites video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in the longest time. I always say it, but I used to do them all the time. And then one day I just stopped and now I just do them randomly and I say this on repeat over and over again. So basically I should either just shut up or just start doing favorites videos again. So let me know if you want more, basically. So before we get into all the bits and bobs, I do wanna let you guys know that this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Function of Beauty. Now, I was a little bit wary about featuring like an ad in this video because then when I say it's a sponsorship, it's like, well, is she telling the truth or is she just trying to make some money? And honestly, I mean, both are great. But the reason that I am featuring Function of Beauty in this favorites video and not in just like some kind of like hair care video or something is because it has been a genuine favorite of mine. So Function of Beauty is an online hair care brand and I'd seen them popping up all around the internet over the past few months or so and it always really intrigued me because there's a quiz. Now I don't know about you guys but during this whole lockdown situation I'm doing a lot of quizzes like I've been doing some useful quizzes telling me about my personality, telling me about like my star signs and stuff. I've also been doing quizzes that tell me what kind of bread I am but then I've also been doing useful quizzes like this that tell me what hair care products I need. Never thought I'd segue from bread to hair care products, but I did that. So I just mentioned about the quiz, but let me rewind a little bit. So basically the idea behind Function of Beauty is to find your own specialized hair care products. So that's obviously when the quiz comes in, which I will put a little sneak peek of it on the screen now. But basically you just answer a few questions about like what you want from your hair care products, what your hair is currently like. And then once you've essentially come up with your own product, you actually get to choose the color of it, which is one of my favorite things. I took a long time trying to decide on the colors. Yeah, so with your order, it just comes with like a little list of everything you wanted. And then the fragrance that I got was called Strike a rose. And this honestly smells like, I went to a really fancy salon in London a few times and they used to use products that smell like this and they were very expensive products. This smells so good. And then I don't know if you guys will be able to see on this camera, maybe I'll do like a little close up or something, but you can actually choose what you kind of want on the side of the bottle. So it says a function of, and then you can put like your name or whatever. So obviously, Apple Stephanie, cause that's my name. Oh, my order came with stickers as well, hence like the fancy bottles, because they come completely plain. They actually come with like little plastic stoppers in there. And yeah, you get to like put the pumps in and then you can put the stickers on and everything. Basically, literally like create your own product. I love it. So yeah, yes, this is sponsored, but this is definitely a favorite of mine recently. I'd say I've probably been using it for around about a month or so. And this is like the only thing I've really changed about my hair care routine. And I feel like my hair has genuinely like, look at this. My hair has gotten so long all of a sudden, like long for considering how it was before, but like, I swear my hair wasn't that long a few weeks ago. But yeah, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Obviously, I personally feel like my hair has been looking a lot more healthy recently because I did redo a few of my tape and extensions. So I did get to kind of like tape my extensions out and actually see my natural hair and it was looking a whole lot better. So obviously the products will vary depending on the answers to the quiz. But what I got is my profile was wavy, medium and normal. That was to like describe my hair. And then the hair goals that I wanted was color protection, lengthen, replenish hair, strengthen and thermal protection. Then obviously I got the rose fragrance. So it was a lot of kind of like protecting, strengthening, nourishing, all those good words. So with my order, they also sent over one of the leave-in conditioners, which again, I have been using recently and I really, really love it. I use it a lot on my extensions and I find that especially during lockdown and everything like that, they are staying in a lot better condition. So the way I use it is honestly pretty self-explanatory to be honest. So I wash my hair probably around about twice a week. I basically use a shampoo, rinse it out, use it again and then I do follow up with a little bit of conditioner. Now obviously because I have tape and extensions, I don't put them any higher than my actual tape, so I do just leave them on the lengths. But I have also been sneaking a little bit in here, in my little mullet. And then in towel dried hair, I'll go in with a leave-in conditioner, once again, making sure it doesn't go above the tapes because if they slip out, then I'm gonna look bald. And that's that's not a look I'm willing to go for just yet. So Function of Beauty also offer a service where you can subscribe to actually get the products delivered to you every either month, two months, three months, or six months, I believe, or you can just order it as like a standalone product. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's got no parabens, no sulfates, all that jazz. So yeah, that's Function of Beauty, which I love. So if you guys do wanna check it out, I do have a discount code that gets you 20% off. I'll leave any codes or links or anything in the description box down below as always. So for the next product, oh, I've got so many things. Okay, let's get a little bit sentimental here. So a lot of you guys will know that I really love like granny scented perfumes and Givenchy Amarage, that's probably not how you say it, but that's how I say it and I'm really sorry if that's wrong. 
I love that perfume so, so much. My mum actually used to wear it when I was a lot younger and I recently fell back in love with it. Oh my God, why do I actually feel a bit emotional? <laughs> so on the Christmas of 2018, it would have been, my mum actually got this for me and I think she actually thought it was the perfume that I normally wear. But then I tried this and I actually like it almost as much as the original one. So yeah, I love this perfume anyway, but recently I've been loving it a lot more. So as, I've not really even said it on camera, but as a lot of you guys will know, um, in November, my mum actually passed away. She'd been ill for a really, really long time. I'm not gonna like touch on it. I'm not gonna be too deep or anything right now. But basically, when we went through her stuff, she had a bottle of this as well. So yeah, this is like my Christmas bottle. And then my mum had her own bottle. And I was just like, I need this. So yeah, basically, I've just been really enjoying this again. Firstly, down to the fact that it just smells great if you really like old lady scents. And secondly, because it reminds me of my mum. So yeah, if you too like old lady perfume, sorry mum, wherever you are, um, check that out. Okay, so now we'll move on to something completely not beauty related. So a few, like, I don't know, a few months ago or something, I bought myself, yeah, it must have been around my birthday, I bought myself the new iPhone. So I was in a really kind of like treat yourself sort of moment and I mean, there was no way I was about to go and drop like hundreds of pounds on a phone case because realistically, I will probably smash it. But I wanted to show you guys these from a website, I think it's called Broken Bougie. I had a lot of questions and like replies on my stories about where you could get this phone case. So I thought I would just kind of like feature it in a video. But yeah, I've got these two Louis Vuitton phone cases. So they're, they're basically the same. This one just has this little strap, which I can then, position like so. So yeah, I'll leave a link to that website down below. And then I also have this case, which some of you guys may have seen again on my Instagram stories. It's this iPhone case from Caseify and I'm obsessed. They very kindly sent it to me along with a few others. But yeah, I love this so much. It's in collaboration with the M Jewelers and Ollie is very jealous of this case. I think he's actually gonna put an order in for one himself. These are a little bit more expensive than those. I think they're around about 20 pounds each give or take the phone case. And this is, I think, around 30 to 40 pounds. But yeah, thought I would share those because I have had a lot of questions. So link for both of those sites will be down below. Then, because my lips are honestly feeling a little bit crusty right now, so I feel like I could do with some of this. I mean, you can tell how much I love this stuff. I featured it in loads of videos, but I still get loads of questions. It is like my all-time favorite lipstick. So it's the Maybelline uh, Nude Embrace in the Matte Color Sensational Collection. And I seriously need a new one of these, but I just love it. I basically fill my lips in with it. And then, do I have anything around here? Oh no, but I can show you another favorite. So I was just gonna like dab that with concealer, but then I remember that I did take this out of my handbag because I always use this for touch-ups or just to like lighten my lips or something. So this is the Ofra Flexi Slick in the shade Synthetic. And I just love to put that in the middle and just, yes, yes, yes. And yeah, I love those. I do still have a discount code for Ofra that gets you guys 20% off, which I will put on screen now. I believe it is just Steph Toms. God, I sound like a full on YouTuber in this video, don't I? Discount code, discount code, buy my stuff. I mean, yeah, I do have a discount code. So if you guys did want to use it, if you guys did want to try these out, down below. Okay, I do actually have another product from Ofra. So I didn't really plan on featuring it in this video, but it was just literally right in front of me along with Rodeo Drive. But a recent favorite of mine when I'm not as tanned is Star Island. So it's a little bit lighter than Rodeo Drive. Maybe I'll do like a little swatch of that next to it. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, so you can see a difference there. The um, Star Island one is a little bit more silvery. So Star Island, Rodeo Drive. But yeah, this is so good on just like the high points of my face. So sometimes I'll literally just do Rodeo Drive like I've got on now, and then a pop of Star Island just on the highest point there. And then it's like, boom. Once again, I did have a lot of questions from you guys about Rodeo Drive and if it's suitable for lighter skin. So obviously it depends on your skin tone and everything, but if you do think Rodeo Drive will be a little bit too dark for you, this is really good because it's a similar kind of tone, just a little bit lighter. So now I've got to mention it. Um, I haven't stopped playing Animal Crossing. Uh, my house and my island is awful. I'm basically, okay, level with me here. If you guys do want to see my Animal Crossing videos, by the way, they are now live on my gaming channel, so I will leave a link to that down below. But I'm on a mission to make as many raccoon sculptures as I can. Um, yeah, like I thought me saying that would make it sound a little bit less like I'm mental, but that kind of backfired. Um, but yeah, I've been grinding on Animal Crossing a lot recently. Lost 40 grand's worth of turnips. I don't even want to talk about it. Next are some beauty tools. Now, I've never really thought of myself as being like a crystal-y kind of person. I'm like, ooh, that looks nice. Or like, ooh, that's shiny. But I don't know. I don't really get too deep into the whole crystal thing. However, 
I guess I am kind of into crystals and stones a little bit because I've been really enjoying crystals and stones, but on my face. So I have this jade roller here, which I've had for years now. I got it ages ago from my sister. I think she got it from Cult Beauty. Yeah, I really, really love using this. It really helps to get rid of like puffiness and everything. But a new recent favorite, and I do want to get something a bit more kind of like, I don't know, I want like a rose quartz one or something, like a, I don't know. It's this thing, I think it's called like a gua sha, and basically I can't really do it with my makeup on, but with serums and facial oils, I will just like sculpt out my jawline a bit because I grind my teeth. I didn't know I grinded my teeth until fairly recently, but yeah, I like grind my teeth and clench my jaw and stuff from stress. So I'm really trying to kind of relax that part of my jaw down a little bit. So that's why I initially started doing it. But I've also noticed that, I mean, maybe not right now because I've put on the quarantine pounds, but I have noticed it's kind of thinned out my face a little bit. I'm not saying it's made me lose weight or anything like that because it hasn't, it's a rock. But it has gotten rid of like a lot of the puffiness that I sometimes get around my chin and also sometimes up here if I have been clenching my jaw. I got this in a set of two from TK Maxx. It was less than a tenner. I think it was maybe like six or seven pounds. But yeah, I really enjoy doing that. Like regardless of whether it actually does anything or if it is just like a placebo effect for me, I just enjoy the process. Just feels nice, so yes, they're good. And I also bought these little crystal things along with me because I don't know why, I just think they're nice. That's all. I then wanna talk about food for about 30 seconds. So this is basically the most you're ever gonna get from Stephanie Tom's here, apart from my banana bread that I've been making on Instagram that's literally from the BBC Good Foods website or something. It's the first one that comes up on Google. I'm not a good chef. One thing Ollie's been doing recently that I thought I'd just share with you guys because it's kind of blown our minds a little bit here. We've been making our own breakfast McMuffins. English muffins, toast them, get some sausage meat. If you can't find sausage meat, get some sausages, usually about one and a half sausages good per person, per burger. Do vegan sausages, do vegetarian sausages, let me know they like, might do that next time. Take the sausages out their little jackets, turn them into little like burger patties, grill them for about five minutes, add a slice of cheese, add ketchup, barbecue sauce, whatever, boom. Thank me later. I've been, I've really been struggling with my lack of McDonald's. So this is really helping me right now. Some people turn to religion, some people turn to family and friends. I turn to McDonald's. All right, the next thing I wanna mention because I have had a lot of questions. Once again, I know that's like the typical YouTuber thing to say. I've had a lot of questions from you guys, but I seriously have. Whenever I wear my hair curly like this, I always get questions about what hair curler I've been using and I cannot stress this enough. This hair curler is cheap but it's very good. And again, this sounds like a kind of fake review because my face is on the box for this, but I didn't create this product. Like I have no bias towards it. It's just probably one of the best hair curlers I've ever tried. And you can normally get the Mark Hill Two-Face Glam Kit because that's what this comes in. You can normally get that set for like 20 quid or something on boots. Basically it works out that you get a really good pair of hair straighteners, a brush, and then a really good hair curler. So that's what I've been using. Then last few things, I wanna give a quick shout out to Cool Tone Brown Eyeshadow. I've really been enjoying these two palettes recently. So we have the Nip and Fab Sculpted Palette. I'm mostly talking about these two shades here, mostly that one though. And then also the Urban Decay Naked Basics. Can you still get this? Oh my God, I can't remember. Either way, this shade here and this shade actually, that's actually a lot more pigmented than you think, but um, really been liking those palettes to kind of give me a slightly more cool tone brown look. I've also really been enjoying silk hair scrunchies, which sounds so bougie of me and I kind of love it, but actually like these are from Primark. If you have long hair, if you have extensions, whatever, if you just want to put your hair up without denting your hair too much, then the silk scrunchies are a really good shout. I then want to give a quick shout out to the Revolution Jake Jamie masks. You guys know I love Jake to death, but he has brought out a few stonking masks recently. So the one I actually thought I picked up is the pink donut mask, which, oh my God, it's so, so good. The reason I don't have it here is because it's actually up in my bath. But the one I picked up here was the dragon fruit face mask, which is just, oh, they're so good. And obviously it's revolution, so they're super affordable, but he's just also launched, oh my God, this guy. Oh, it's just, it smells exactly like mint choc chip ice cream. It's so good. It's like really cooling on the skin as well. I love it. I think Jake does a banging job with these masks. 
So yes, I recommend those. And then last but not least is something that I know some of you guys are really gonna hate because I saw some of your comments saying that I haven't been wearing my contacts recently. And I'm glad you've noticed, thanks. Um, I think I've just kind of like, I don't know, I'm still into the contacts. Like sometimes I look at pictures of myself with me and I'm like, oh, she's feisty. But I don't know, I'm going through a bit of a weird stage at the moment. Like I did it maybe five or six years ago when I dyed my hair and I started wearing contacts and stuff and I got 11 liters of filler. But yeah, I've obviously sacked off the contacts for a while and I'm also considering dyeing my hair dark brown. I know it's not a big deal, but I feel like it is for me because I haven't had my natural hair color in so long. My natural hair color, by the way, is this shade here. So it's pretty dark. Like I do still have highlights quite high up. But yeah, I think I might go really, really dark with like maybe a little tiny bit of balayage or something at the front just to like hold on to some element of bleach. But yeah, I mean, the extensions that I'm wearing now, that's mostly the gray color because obviously this has grown out so much and we haven't been bleaching it. So a lot of my natural hair is quite dark now. So I'm just thinking, shall I just try dark? And then if I really hate it, I can just highlight the ends of my natural hair and get these extensions put back in. I don't know, let me know. But I'm really scared, really, really frightened. I know it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, um, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> one day I'm like, yes, one day I'm like, no. Anyway, so like I was saying about me sacking off the contacts. So I've got some new contacts. Now I've actually had these before and they are a completely different color to the ones that I've been using previously, which were in the shade Ice, but I also do love them as well. So the shade that I normally wear, the like super icy blue gray color is the Hydroka Ice. The shade that I have right now, I have worn before. And a lot of you guys actually thought it was my natural color, but it's like, I don't know, it's basically lies on my natural color. So it's in the shade Ochre. I do get a lot of questions about the website that I go with, which is lens.me. So they did actually give me a discount code to share with you guys because they are the only ones that I do kind of shop with. But yeah, I'll pop all the details of that down below. And now I'm gonna pop these in, just for old time's sake. Okay, they're in. I know they're not for everyone, but I just, I don't know. I just love it. Am I gonna be wearing them in all of my videos? No. Am I gonna be embracing my natural eyes a lot more? Yes, but still a lot of fun to play around with. And I think this color looks sick, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah guys, that is everything that I've been loving recently over the past month or so. Let me know if you've tried out any of the products that I've featured in today's video and let me know your favorite products in the comment section down below. Once again, if you do wanna check out any of the products from Function of Beauty, I do have a 20% off code, which I will put on screen. And also in the description, <laughs> bit of my tongue, in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.